one that's come up with a partner recently, uh, where name who they are is, uh, ESG data, um, whatever you use for that term. Um, I know that's kind of going through some flux at the moment for like ESG data. Um, and they've got kind of people starting to provide those records. And as a company, typically you need to share that data with multiple other companies or like regulators or observers. So it needs to be reusable. And a lot of time and effort has been put into actually creating that data in the first place. So there is value and where it's getting reused, people are expecting like a flow back from that. Um, so that's something we're, we're seeing being actively like looked at and developed over the next year. Uh, I think KYC and credit scores and credit files are coming up all the time now. Um, I think there's an awareness that with, um, things like the travel rule or the regulations coming in, like that data is going to have to be reused, but I think also not just the kind of reusable KYC thing, it's also building in like credit scores, which allow you to tap into like better, better financial products and then are available just if you have no information on the individual whatsoever. So that's coming through more and more. And I'd say probably the, the extension of that is anything to do with personalization. Um, so mm. one trend that we've heard a lot is like Gen Z expecting seamless, like shopping or e-commerce experience or just e experiences in general, but wanting things completely personalized. So having an experience as opposed to a purchase, and you can only really do that if you've got like more idea about that individual as a person that they're willing to share that they've actually consented to. And so moving beyond like just having KYC and just having credit scores but actually into like data that is about someone that is provable that then allows you to tailor an offering to them in a way that they want to, because they've declared that interest or those intents. Um, but also that, um, you allowed, you can really just like tailor the experience to them. I'd say the final one is, is probably where creds is going, which go, kind of goes down two paths, which is like protecting people. So going back to that fraud use case where proving who you work for proving um, like just whatever, like enough about yourself in that interaction to prove that it, it's trustworthy. And then the flip side of that is actually rewarding people for engagement. So I guess more moving into loyalty. So proving that you are engaged, proving that you're active, proving that you're like fulfilling all the activities you should be, um, and rewarding people for that in a way that you can then again, reward them in the future, um, based on all the activities that they've done. So yeah. Quite a, quite a few. There's a lot mm. to lot coming in the next year.